So hey guys, welcome back to the channel once again, Kenroy here. So we're continuing with our home renovation project where we are currently renovating our downstairs kitchen and our living room. Since moving into this old 1870s cottage, um, we realized there was a lot that we needed to do. And so we finally gotten around to getting some of the work done on the ground floor um, to try and bring it more into this century. Um, there were some tiles which were far out of date. As nice as they were and as unique with the rich history and heritage that they had, uh, we recognised that we wanted something a bit more modern, a bit more quirky, something to suit our style. And as such, um, we basically decided to um, have this renovation. Now, one thing that I've always wanted to try and do is to actually paint our radiators, um, changing their colour, the aesthetics, giving them a fresh coat of paint in the hope that it will make them feel like something brand new. Now, while doing the kitchen, I've actually removed the radiator um, in order to get to the tiles behind it, as, as well as the wallpaper. And the idea came to me, now would be a great time to actually have a go at painting the radiator to see how it would look. And so that's what I'm gonna be doing today. So you can probably see the radiator just behind me here. So I've gone for this Rust Olsen um, universal all-purpose paint. Um, which is in the color of slate gray. Now, I only realized after I left the shop, I think I got this at home base actually for 21 pounds, which isn't particularly cheap, is oftentimes um, spoken about as one of the best when it comes to these sort of projects. And so um, it's stated on the back that you can use it for various different things, um, to which one of them is to paint radiator. It is a little pricey, if I'm being honest, but um, I think, and I'm hoping that it'll be well worth it because there will be quality there. I was gonna try the Wilco brand, you know, I normally have no problem using off the shelf brands. Um, or store brands, but this time I think I'll give this a go. The only downside is I wanted a matte finish Unfortunately, I didn't realize that this is actually a gloss finish So um, never mind. I think if it looks nice, it will look nice and if not um, I think we'll cross that bridge when it comes So what I'm going to be doing today is actually getting the cloth wiping down this radiator get rid of all the grease now there are some rust points which um, i'll probably show you a little bit on there and this is meant to be good at covering those you don't actually need a primer which is quite interesting so we'll see how that goes it's um, primer and paint in one and i'm hoping that after a couple of coats this will look nice enough to be able to hang back on that wall um, and hopefully give the kitchen um, a bit of an uplift. So that's the idea, that's the plan. And like I said, um, radiators are not cheap. So this is a great way to spruce up your environment, whether it's your living room or your kitchen. And that's my hope. So let's get cracking. Um, I'm a bit undecided, but this is definitely gonna be a first attempt, a trial and error. Now, I didn't wanna actually do the kitchen one first because if it doesn't go according to plan, um, I don't want it to be obvious. Um, but like I said, it's already off the wall. It's a great opportunity to be able to have the uh, maneuverability to move it around and so on. So, you know, I'm gonna give it a go. It's got this grill on top, which um, to be honest, I suppose it's to sort of stop things from falling inside. It's not my favorite looking radiator. However, it is probably the most amazing radiator in the house because when this thing gets hot, you'll know about it. So I'm gonna have to remove this and get it cleaned up now. It's absolutely filthy with dust and everything from the building work that we started. Now the way in which you remove these grills from the top is you've got to slide these side panels up. There's one on this side and one on the other side. And once you slid them up, you can then slide this across, I believe, to remove it. So I'm gonna give that a go now. Um, I've never done this before, so do bear with me.
lots of uh, dust and pet hairs from our previous owners, no doubt. Let's bring that in a bit close to see what we're working with. But yeah, that's pretty gross. So this is what inside of the radiator looks like. So this is going to take a lot of clean and I think it's probably, I think, I think actually cleaning this is going to be harder than actually painting it. <laughs> but um, yeah, we'll do our best. We've sort of left the radiator to dry in the living room. I've just moved it back into the kitchen now to give it its second coat. And what can I say? I'm so, so impressed with the way it looks so far. Um, as you can see, it's just behind me here. I'm gonna be giving it its second coat in just a minute. And I was really, really impressed with the paint um, that I've used, which to be honest, I tried my best to give it as light a coat as possible um, so that hopefully a lot of the streaks and the drips um, that can sometimes happen when you're painting metal was left and kept at a minimum. Um, after around half an hour of painting it, I sort of went back and had a look to see if there were any drips, any section where paint was sort of settling, um, you know, and just went over it with the brush just to sort of streak it and smooth it out. And I'm really impressed with the, the finish so far. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna give it a second coat um, where it is before rehanging it on the wall. Now that the wall have been skimmed, um, sort of plastered, I can now rehang it where it's supposed to be, attach the side panels, and, and then, of course, if there's any more areas which I've missed, just to give them a once over. And hopefully, 
that will be that and um, we have a radiator that looks as good as new so this is one of the side panels which I've given one coat I've also kind of painted on the inside um, I didn't have to but I kind of just went um, with the flow of things but then I realized that you know you won't be seeing any of it so you don't have to you can save paint that way but you know the finish looks really really good so far I can see one and two areas where there's a bit of white still coming through which is of course why it's good to give it a second coat um, but even if I was to leave it like this it still looks really really good if I do say so myself um, I made sure that I didn't apply too much paint so there's not a lot of um, you know streaks and dripping marks which obviously can take away from the finish so um, I'm going to be giving this another coat but first I think I will be attaching it back onto the radiator before doing so now I also wanted to show you this part of the radiator which was the grill that sort of goes over the top of the radiator which I was dreading <laughs> actually painting and you know I've been really really impressed it didn't take me that long it wasn't as hard as I thought it was going to be to actually paint these fins now they're not perfect by any stretch, especially when you look at it at an angle, you can still see the white coming through. But I'm hoping that after giving it a second coat, um, I'll be able to get rid of those white marks. Um, but I've been really impressed with how easy this was to actually paint actually. So like I said, I was dreading it. It's gonna be so difficult. So um, I'm gonna take my time with this one, um, second time around to try and reach those um, inner parts which you know the brush doesn't reach easily and be very cautious and mindful about you know applying some paint once again I think the, the best tip here is try not to add too much paint especially to a small area like this because if you put too much paint on there um, when painted this radiator thin it's just gonna blob through and just make a huge huge mess so really light streaks and be patient if you have to paint it twice or three times sometimes that's best rather than trying to get it all done in one go so i'm really happy with that so if you're new to this channel guys please don't forget to hit subscribe if you want to see more videos like this as sophia and i continue to renovate our 1870s cottage so that it can be a great place for our family to live 